curtain rises on scene two and we see a marketplace near Pigau coming to life. The vendors wheel on their carts loaded with fish, wine, champagne, loaves of bread, garlands of flowers. It's very colorful. Gorachenko and Vasily play their brief scene and exit as Robert, the cheese vendor, comes running on. She's back! She's coming! Henri says, bon dieu, at last! Pierre, the sausage, Claude, dust the caviar, Brigitte, straighten that bread. Hey, Robert, does she have a shopping basket? We oui. this big! Ah, oh, bon, the more she steals, the richer we get. Henri's wife says, how dare you call it stealing? She's a grand duchess. Yeah, she steals like a Cossack. Claude says, a charming Cossack. Robert says, a beautiful Cossack. Henri says, Cossack, grand duchess. What does it matter as long as the government pays us? Shh, she's coming. Tatiana is led on by a laughing, bowing group of people. Good morning, your highness. Welcome back to Montmartre. Our humble marketplace is honored, honored. We have all missed you, your highness. Ah, uh, how sweet, but it is I who have missed you. You will never know how hungry I was to see you. Oh, what lovely artichokes, Marie. They arrived in honor of your return, your highness. I hope you had a pleasant holiday. Holiday? Oh, yes, lovely, thank you, Marie. Robert says, did you think of us a little while you were away? Think of you? Tatiana looks at the caviar constantly. Why, no matter where I went, no matter who I met, all I could think of, all I could say was, take me back to Montmartre. That's where I have to be. Where the fun never ends. And all my friends are waiting for me Don't take me to lay out I don't care about shard All I want is a place in Place Big Al Take me back to Montmartre I remember the gay bal musette Floating down from the Rue Chansonnette I remembered the smell of the air and the trees Remembered the smell of Robert and his cheese And Brigitte and her beautiful bread And I wept, yes I wept As I turned to the prince and I said Take me back to Montmartre That's where I have to be fun never ends and all my friends are waiting for me don't take me to lay out i don't care about shot all i want is a place in twice big i'll take me back to Montmartre. bravo your highness welcome home your highness ah oh, your highness you are too kind and her highness will never know how lonely we were without her. How sad. Claude, tell her highness how sad we were. Your highness will never know how sad we were. Ah, uh, vraiment, petit Claude. Vraiment, your highness. Every morning precisely at nine, I would put out your favorite wine. We would hang up the sausage and water the eels And wait for the sound of her highness's heels We would wait till the angelus rang Then we all bowed our heads As we stood by our push carts and sang Bring her back to Mama Bring her back to Tatiana 
Tatiana and the vendors waltz gaily in and out among the among the carts. Tatiana stealing while the vendors very carefully look the other way. And then when Tatiana's not looking, all of the vendors take the opportunity to slip some goodies into her basket. Take three potatoes and a bunch of scallions, please. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. George, take Tatiana and Mikhail to an American nightclub in Montmartre. This happens to be the spot where Natalia, former mistress of the Tsar and also former mistress of Mr. Davis, performs every night. The scene opens with a song from the French girls in the chorus line. Later in the scene, when Natalia spots the three gay payu men at a table spying on Tatiana and Mikhail, she sings the following number to the spies directly, using all her physical attributes to distract them so that Mikhail and Tatiana can escape. She's joined in the number vocally and with bumps and grinds by the French chorus girls. I know a yank, his name is Hank. He's asked me to his quarters at the Georges Sank. He owns a bank, so there may be a little hanky-panky between Hank and me. Because when opportunity knocks, when opportunity knocks, a girl can't afford not to open the door. It may be just the wind. We've all been fooled before, but on the other hand, it may be opportunity. A date with Jack, you're black and blue, for Jackie tips the scales at roughly 302. But I adore his stranglehold. Because I know that Jack is worth his weight in gold And so when opportunity knocks When opportunity knocks My room is perfumed and the bed is aired An Eagle Scout I knew Taught me to be prepared for any gentleman who might be Opportunity T for two at his villa in Spain By the blue of the Mediterranean Gazing up at the clouds in the skies Getting lots of wholesome exercise Exercise, a girl can get a lot of wholesome exercise I met this man whose sight was dim I used to cuddle on his lap and read to him. He left me rich at 22, which shows you what a fascinating tale can do. And so when opportunity knocks, when opportunity knocks, I don't stop to ask for a calling card. I simply say entree, my door is never barred to any man or boy who may be opportunity. This candy king from Iowa is hot to send me trinkets from the USA. Stoles, then I'll play footsie with the king of Tootsie Rolls Because when opportunity knocks When opportunity knocks A girl can't afford not to open 
open the door It may be just the wind We've all been fooled before But on the other hand It may be Opportunity Bubbles in a velvet box Opportunity Closets full of Paris frocks Opportunity Better answer when it knocks Opportunity We've written an alternate song for the end of the first act Tatiana and Mikhail's marriage is seriously threatened. Tatiana knows this, Mikhail doesn't. She's very upset. She looks to him for love and reassurance, and she asks him to hold her tightly and tell her he loves her and will always love her. Without knowing why she's crying, he takes her in his arms and soothes her, singing an old Russian lullaby that his father used to sing to his little sister many years ago. He sings it first in Russian, which I won't do, and then in English, as he holds her very close. Princess, give me your crown, give me your crown to keep. Princess, lay your head down, lay your head down and sleep. Sleep, my love, and dream. No, if you need him, your prince isn't far. Soon, soon, morning will break over the almond tree. And princess, when The next song, according to the script, now comes very near the end of the show. It is sung by Tatiana alone when she thinks she may never see Mikhail again. However, we would like to do it with the verses we originally wrote it for both Tatiana and Mikhail at a point earlier in the second act. They have just been fired, and throughout the number they are washing dishes for the last time in the kitchen they have grown to love so much. Well, here we are, leaving again. First, we're not wanted as masters. Now, we're not wanted as servants. That is the price we pay for the misfortune of exalted birth, my dear. I suppose so. Tatiana. Yes, my love? Do you ever think of the palace? Sometimes. Hand me that cup, will you, dear? Do you still remember the garden? Oh, yes. Here you are. Thank you. I remember the roses growing three meters. And the rainbow-colored fountains leaping up to the sky. And the servants in their turbans and their pink pantaloons. Serving tea on the lawn in the afternoon. Did you remember to take out the garbage? What? The garbage, dear. Oh, yes, I did. Do you ever long for the old days? Sometimes. Wash it again. I'm sorry. And the little things in the palace we love. Oh, yes. Like the gold trim saddle I received from the Tsar. And that useless little golden samovar. And the huge four-poster with the sable spread. Even then, Mona me, you were 
always in bed. By the way, did you fix that leaky faucet? Yes, this afternoon. Oh, darling, such a long face. I can't help it. I just never thought I'd become so attached to a leaky faucet. My poor tragic pigeon. I too am sad. But worse misfortunes have come our way and we survived. Remember when they burned our beautiful palace and destroyed all your lovely horses in the stable and the Rembrandts in the library? And we laughed when they put us in prison and we were so certain we were going to die. You see, darling, it has been worse. Oh, but that was different, Tatiana. Somehow I shall miss these dreadful dishes more than all the Rembrandts in the world. I do, Mikhail. I shall miss them very, very sorely. She tenderly puts away the last dish. Is there any coffee left? I think so, dear. Would you like a cup? Please. Tatiana brings the coffee pot to the table and they sit down. Poor little coffee pot, poor little thing, empty and full. Oh. 